This is all that remains of HMS Pandora. On the 30th of August 1791, upon returning to England, she ran aground on the Great Barrier Reef and sank. Let's take a look at how the ship looked. Firstly, we have the cross-section frames, which form the base of the ship's construction. The framework is then covered in planks inside and out. The bottom part of the hull is covered in copper plates to prevent the wooden planks below the waterline from rotting. The decks are then put in place forming the various holds and cabins below. The masts and rigging complete the ship and allow it to sail. Most ships of this era had a figurehead. Here we have Pandora, a character from Greek mythology after which the ship is named. The prisoners of the bounty were held in the makeshift cell in the stern of the upper deck, named Pandora's box as a reference to the ship's namesake. Although only a frigate, Pandora was still armed with 24 main cannons. They were nicknamed Smashers due to the high amount of damage they could inflict. 